Alright guys, so I'm not gonna babble too much, but you guys know what this video is about. It's double cut crease. Hope you guys enjoy. And let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna prime my eyes. Uh, something that I always do is nothing new. And I'm going in with my transition color. That's the color Bamboo by MAC. It's my, one of my favorites besides soft brown. And um, just going in and out windshield wiper motions. Typical stuff that I usually do. It's always good to lay down a base, and that was my base color, transition color. And now I'm going in with the color saddle, and I'm putting that directly into my crease. And if you see, if you notice, I'm going all the way to the inner corner, deeply into that inner corner, and all the way out, and then flicking it out on the edges, of course, like I usually do. And that's a MAC 286 brush, in case you were interested. Um, now I'm taking one of my favorite, favorite green colors. It's such a pretty goldish green. Um, it's by Anastasia. It's in the Lavish palette and it's called Moss. It might be an individual color. I'm not too sure, but I'll check it out. And if it is, I'll link it down below. And I'm using that color to wing out the, uh, the outer corners of the eye to start kind of marking the double cut crease part. And I'm just using, what am I using? I think this, I think that's a MAC 239 brush. I'm not too sure. And I'm sorry I didn't show you guys little um, pictures of the shadows that I'm using. But um, I will link them below if you guys are interested. That right there that I'm using, I'm using a darker kind of antique green. I would say antique. It's kind of a rusty kind of green. It's so, so pretty. It's a pigment actually. It's, it's by Makeup Geek called, what is it called? Kryptonite. And I was just putting that on the outer corner of the um, the wing part of the eyeshadow. And now for the fun part, I am using a concealer. You can use whatever concealer you want to use and a very thin brush. I'm using, what brush is that? It's the E06 by Sigma. And I'm just using that to kind of carve out and clean up the edges. Using something really fine like that, like, kind of does the whole thing for you. It makes it so, so easy. It seems hard, but when you have really good, um, you know, tools, it, it, it just kind of just makes everything go so easy. So it's not as hard as it seems. You just have to have a lot of patience for it. And right now I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges a little bit more because I want it to be extremely sharp. And now I'm taking the color nylon. By the way, when I put on the green all over the lid, I didn't put any in the inner corner. I forgot to mention that. And the reason why I showed this clip twice is because I put nylon on dry at first just to kind of lay it down. And then I went over it again with Fix Plus just to kind of intensify it and make it blend well together. Um, once the look is completed, you're going to see that it all looks just kind of like one color on the eye and kind of looks like the light when it hits it at the right part, it just looks so natural and gradient. I mean, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so right now I am giving the look a little bit of definition. I'm sorry. I don't know what brown this is, but I know I used a really deep, dark brown and I'm using a angled brush. I'm not, I know it's a MAC one. It's the eyebrow brush. And um, I'm just using it to uh, do the double, the double cut crease part. And I lay it kind of flat towards the end to kind of flick it up a little bit more and blend it well together. And then I'm going back in with, um, I didn't put any extra product on the brush. That's the same 286 brush that I was using with the saddle. And then I'm going over the outer corners of each eye to kind of make sure everything blends well. And um, I didn't, also at this part, I didn't go in with any extra product. I just kind of used whatever was left on the brush to do the inner part of the eye so you just want to make sure you're not adding too much product don't less is more so go in with a little bit and then if you need to gradually add more you can do that and now I'm using um M lashes the M lash collection and I'm using it they are in the style Mia I'm sorry I jacked that all up so that is the end of the eye look I'm not gonna talk anymore because this is just my typical foundation routine and routine sorry and um 
it's so different from what I used to do. My skincare routine is so different and I, I you know, I, I'm not trying to brag, but my skin has never looked this healthy and beautiful ever. I mean, it just looks amazing and I think it's just what I'm using on my skin. So I'm not going to talk too much with this. I'm just going to let it flow and um, I will leave all everything that I work with in this video down below if you guys are interested and if you want to update it um eyebrow not eyebrow uh foundation routine or if you want me to do a skincare video i've never done one of those let me know and i will be more than happy to record a video for you guys so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed continue watching if you not if you like if not you can cut it off whatever you want to do and i will see you guys i guess in the next video enjoy